Israel Adesanya, once the unstoppable force of the UFC's middleweight division, now finds himself in a downward spiral. From his meteoric rise to champion to his recent string of losses, Adesanya's career trajectory has taken a sharp turn. What caused this sudden decline of one of MMA's most exciting stars? The story of Adesanya's rise is nothing short of remarkable. A skinny kid from Nigeria with a passion for combat sports, he transitioned from kickboxing to MMA with ease. His early UFC fights were a showcase of his unique style, a mix of precise striking and elusive movement that left opponents baffled. The hype around Adesanya grew with each victory as he dismantled seasoned fighters with seeming effortlessness. This is where Adesanya's ascent reached its peak. In a spectacular showdown against Robert Whittaker, he claimed the middleweight title in dominant fashion. The fight would go down as a defining moment in UFC history, establishing Adesanya as a seemingly unbeatable champion. But as we now know, the story was far from over. With the middleweight belt around his waist, Adesanya appeared invincible. His unique style left the challengers bewildered and fans in awe. But what exactly made him seem so untouchable, and how did this perception contribute to his eventual downfall? Adesanya's rise to the top of the UFC middleweight division was nothing short of spectacular. His fighting style was a blend of precision streaking, elusive movement, and an uncanny ability to ray his opponents. This combination made him a nightmare for anyone who stepped into the octagon with him. The last stylebender, as he was known, brought a level of creativity to MMA that hadn't been seen before. His background in kickboxing and dance gave him a fluidity of movement that was almost hypnotic to watch. Opponents would find themselves swinging at air as Adesanya effortlessly slipped punches and countered with devastating accuracy. One of the most impressive aspects of Adesanya's game was his ability to adapt mid-fight. He could switch stances, change his rhythm, and adjust his strategy on the fly. This made him incredibly difficult to prepare for as he never seemed to fight the same way twice. Adesanya's dominant title defenses only added to his aura of invincibility. He dismantled Paulo Costa, a fighter many thought would be his toughest challenge, with ease. The fight was so one-sided that it left fans and analysts questioning if anyone in the division could pose a threat to Adesanya's reign. As his star continued to rise, comparisons to other great champions began to surface. Some likened his dominance to that of Anderson Silva, widely regarded as the greatest middleweight of all time. Others saw shades of Muhammad Ali in his trash talk and showmanship. The challenges Adesanya faced only seemed to make him stronger. When critics questioned his ground game, he showed improved takedown defense. When they said he lacked knockout power, he started finishing fights with devastating strikes. It seemed that every time someone found a potential weakness in his game, Adesanya would close that gap and come back even better. This constant improvement, combined with his undefeated record in MMA, created an aura of invincibility around Adesanya. Fans began to wonder not if he would win, but how quickly and spectacularly he would do it. This perception of invincibility was further fueled by Adesanya's confidence, which often bordered on arrogance. Adesanya's superstar status grew with each victory. He became known for his post-fight celebrations and witty interviews, which endeared him to fans and made him a marketable figure for the UFC. His social media presence and outspoken personality only added to his appeal, making him one of the most recognizable faces in the sport. However, this perception of invincibility would ultimately contribute to Adesanya's downfall. As he continued to dominate, the pressure to maintain his undefeated record grew. Each fight became not just about winning, but about living up to the impossible standards he had set for himself. The cracks in Adesanya's armor would start to show in subtle ways. His fights became more calculated, less flashy. The creative striker who once dazzled fans with his unpredictable style began to rely more on a safer, point-fighting approach. While still effective, it lacked the spark that had made him such a phenomenon. The spark might have dimmed, but Adesanya's ambition burned brighter than ever. His next move would be his boldest yet, a step up in weight to challenge for a second title, but sometimes, reaching too high can lead to a devastating fall. Israel Adesanya's decision to move up to light heavyweight and challenge Jan Blakovic for the title was a turning point in his career. This would be the moment where the cracks in his armor began to show. The fight, which took place at UFC 259 in March 2021, was billed as Adesanya's chance to become a two-division champion and further cement his legacy in the sport. 
As the fight approached, expectations were high. Adesanya's striking skills had always been his greatest asset, but now he faced a bigger, stronger opponent. Many wondered how he would adapt to the increased size and power of the light heavyweight division. The last style bender seemed confident, assuring fans and media that his speed and technique would overcome any size disadvantage. From the opening bell, it was clear that this fight would be different from Adesanya's previous encounters. Blachowicz, known for his legendary Polish power, presented a physical challenge unlike anything Adesanya had faced before. The size difference was immediately apparent, with Blachowicz looking notably larger in the octagon. As the rounds progressed, Adesanya struggled to find his rhythm. His usual fluid movement seemed hindered, his strikes lacking their usual snap. Blachowicz's pressure was relentless, forcing Adesanya to fight on the back foot. The Polish champion's game plan was clear, use his size advantage to control the fight and neutralize Adesanya's striking. The turning point came in the later rounds when Blachowicz started to implement his wrestling. This was an aspect of MMA that Adesanya had rarely been challenged in before. The takedowns came and Adesanya found himself on his back, unable to utilize his striking skills. It was a position fans weren't used to seeing him in and it exposed a significant weakness in his game. As the final bell rang, there was a sense of shock in the arena. The scorecards were read and Jan Blakowicz was declared the winner by unanimous decision. Just like that, Adesanya's undefeated MMA record was gone. The aura of invincibility that had surrounded him for so long had been shattered. The impact of this loss on Adesanya's career was immediate and profound. Fans and analysts alike began to question whether he had bitten off more than he could chew by moving up in weight. The narrative around Adesanya shifted overnight. No longer was he seen as the unbeatable champion, but as a fighter with clear weaknesses that could be exploited. This loss exposed several chinks in Adesanya's armor. His takedown defense, which had rarely been tested at middleweight, was found wanting against a larger opponent. His striking, while still elite, didn't carry the same power in the higher weight class. Most importantly, the mental impact of suffering his first MMA loss was evident. In the post-fight interviews, Adesanya tried to maintain his usual confident demeanor, but there was a noticeable change. The bravado was tempered, replaced by a more reflective tone. He spoke about learning from the loss and coming back stronger, but the doubt had been planted, both in the minds of fans and perhaps in Adesanya himself. The aftermath of the Blakowicz fight would have far-reaching consequences for Adesanya's career. It marked the end of his aura of invincibility and the beginning of a new chapter, one where he would have to prove himself all over again. The question now was whether he could bounce back from this setback and regain the form that had made him one of the most exciting fighters in UFC history. The fight game is unforgiving and Adesanya was about to learn that lesson the hard way. In a sport where confidence is everything, what happens when a champion's self-belief is shattered in the most unexpected way possible? Israel. Adesanya's journey back to the middleweight division after his light heavyweight loss was supposed to be a return to form. He defended his title against Marvin Vittori and Robert Whittaker, but something felt off. The once flashy striker seemed more hesitant, more calculated. Still, as he prepared to face Sean Strickland at UFC 293, the odds were heavily in his favor. Strickland was seen as little more than a speed bump on Adesanya's road to redemption. A brash talker with a straightforward fighting style, he didn't seem to pose much of a threat to the technical brilliance of the last stylebender. Betting odds had Adesanya as a massive 650 favorite. The narrative was set. This would be a showcase fight for the champion, a chance to remind the world of his dominance. But from the opening bell, it was clear something was wrong. Adesanya, usually a picture of fluid movement and precise strikes, looked stiff and uncertain. Strickland, on the other hand, came out aggressive and confident. He pressured Adesanya relentlessly, not allowing the champion to find his rhythm. The first round shocked everyone. Strickland caught Adesanya with a clean right hand that sent him crashing to the canvas. The arena went silent. The unthinkable had happened. Adesanya was down. Though he managed to recover, the tone for the fight was set. Strickland had exposed a vulnerability that no one thought existed. As the rounds progressed, Adesanya struggled to mount any significant offense. His trademark feints and counter strikes were ineffective against Strickland's pressure. The challenger kept coming forward, landing jabs and right hands with surprising regularity. Adesanya, known for his ability to adapt mid-fight, seemed lost and unable to find answers. Many expect Izzy to start performing in the championship rounds, but Strickland continued to control the pace and even started to showboat, dropping his hands and taunting the champion. 
it was a complete role reversal. The underdog was now dictating the fight, while the champion looked lost and confused. When the final bell rang, there was no doubt. Sean Strickland had just pulled off one of the biggest upsets in UFC history. The judges' scorecards confirmed what everyone had witnessed, a unanimous decision victory for Strickland. Israel Adesanya, the man who once seemed unbeatable at middleweight, had been thoroughly outclassed. The aftermath was immediate and intense. Social media exploded with reactions, ranging from shock to disbelief. Fans and analysts alike struggled to make sense of what they had just witnessed. How could Sean Strickland, a fighter many had written off, so thoroughly dismantle one of the most dominant champions in UFC history? For Adesanya, the loss was devastating. In the post-fight interview, he appeared shell-shocked, unable to explain what had gone wrong. I had an off night, he said, but it seemed like more than that. The aura of invincibility that had once surrounded him was now completely shattered. The impact on Adesanya's career was profound. Questions began to swirl about his future in the sport. Had he lost his edge? Was his reign at the top over? The same fans who had once praised him as unbeatable now wondered if he had been exposed. Strickland's victory didn't just win him the middleweight title, it completely rewrote the narrative of the division. Suddenly, fighters who had seemed outmatched against Adesanya now saw a path to victory. The mystique was gone, replaced by a very human, beatable champion. For the UFC, this upset created both challenges and opportunities. On one hand, they had lost one of their most marketable champions. On the other, the middleweight division was now wide open, promising exciting matchups and potential new stars. As new contenders circled the middleweight throne, whispers began to spread. Had the years of grueling training and brutal fights finally taken their toll on Adesanya's body? The next chapter in his career would reveal if the last stylebender had reached his expiration date. In the unforgiving world of mixed martial arts, father time remains the one opponent no fighter can truly defeat. For Israel Adesanya, the signs of this inevitable battle were beginning to show. The once fluid striker, known for his lightning fast reflexes and pinpoint accuracy, was starting to look a step slower in the octagon. The physical demands of MMA are brutal and they only intensify as fighters age. The constant impact, the weight cuts, the grueling training camps, all of these factors accumulate over time, wearing down even the most elite athletes. Adesanya, now in his mid-30s, was no exception to this rule. Looking back at Adesanya's recent performances, a pattern began to emerge. The explosive movements that once defined his style were becoming less frequent. His signature Matrix-like dodges, which had fans and commentators alike in awe, were now happening with less regularity. Instead, Adesanya seemed to be relying more on a conservative, point-fighting approach. This change in style wasn't lost on his opponents. Fighters who once seemed hesitant to engage with Adesanya were now more willing to press forward and test his defenses. The fear factor that had been such a crucial part of Adesanya's game was diminishing. Perhaps the most telling sign of Adesanya's potential decline was his decreased ability to absorb punishment. In his prime, Adesanya's chin seemed unbreakable, allowing him to take risks and engage in spectacular exchanges. But in recent fights, he appeared more vulnerable to heavy shots. The knockout loss to Alex Pereira and the knockdown against Sean Strickland were moments that would have been unthinkable just a few years earlier. The science behind aging in combat sports is well documented, reaction times slow, recovery periods lengthen, and the body becomes more susceptible to injury. For a fighter like Adesanya, whose entire game was built on speed and timing, these changes could be particularly devastating. However, it's important to note that age affects different fighters in different ways. Some athletes, through careful management and adaptation, manage to extend their prime years well into their late 30s. Others, unfortunately, see a rapid decline once father time comes knocking. For Adesanya, the question now was which category he would fall into. Could he adapt his style to compensate for his diminishing physical gifts? Or would he stubbornly cling to the approach that had brought him so much success in the past? The mental aspect of aging in MMA can't be overlooked either. As a fighter's physical abilities begin to wane, doubt can creep in. 
the confidence that once seemed unshakable can start to erode. For a fighter like Adesanya, whose mental game was always a key component of his success, this could be just as damaging as any physical decline. There were still flashes of brilliance in Adesanya's recent performances, moments where the old magic would shine through, reminding everyone of the fighter he once was. But these moments were becoming fewer and farther between, overshadowed by longer periods of hesitation and caution. The UFC middleweight division, once dominated by Adesanya, was now wide open. Younger, hungrier fighters were emerging, each looking to make their mark against the former champion. For Adesanya, each fight now carried the added weight of proving he still belonged at the top. While Adesanya grappled with his decline in the UFC, whispers of personal turmoil began to circulate. Could the pressure of fame and expectations be cracking the seemingly unbreakable champion? The life of a UFC champion is filled with adoration, wealth and glory. But beneath the surface, it's a world of immense pressure and scrutiny. For Israel Adesanya, the weight of expectations had become a heavy burden. As his performances in the octagon began to falter, rumors of personal struggles started to emerge. One of the most significant issues Adesanya faced was a legal battle that threatened to derail his career. In November 2022, he was arrested at JFK airport for allegedly trying to bring brass knuckles through security. While the charges were eventually dismissed, the incident cast a shadow over Adesanya's reputation and undoubtedly caused stress during a critical time in his career. The constant spotlight of fame had also taken its toll. Adesanya, known for his charismatic personality and active social media presence, found himself embroiled in several controversies. His trash talk, once seen as entertaining, began to cross lines. Comments about horrible acts and other sensitive topics led to public backlash and forced apologies. These incidents not only damaged his image but also likely affected his mental state and focus. Financial pressures, despite his success, may have also played a role. The the lifestyle of a champion comes with significant expenses and the fear of losing it all can be a powerful stressor. There were whispers of lavish spending and questionable investments, though these remained unconfirmed. Adesanya's personal life, once carefully guarded, began to show cracks. Rumors of relationship troubles and family conflicts started to circulate in MMA circles. While never publicly confirmed, these issues, if true, could have significantly impacted his mental state and training regimen. The pressure to maintain his physique and performance led to speculation about potential substance abuse. While Adesanya had never failed a drug test, the demands of staying at the top of the sport are immense, and some wondered if he had sought chemical assistance. Perhaps most significantly, Adesanya seemed to be struggling with his own identity. The brash, confident persona he had cultivated was becoming harder to maintain in the face of losses and criticism. In interviews, glimpses of self-doubt began to show through the cracks of his carefully constructed image. The toll of these personal battles became increasingly evident in Adesanya's performances. His once fluid movement appeared hesitant his decision-making in the octagon slower. The spark that had made him one of the most exciting fighters to watch seemed dimmed. Adesanya's team and close friends began to express concern. Training partners reported changes in his demeanor and work ethic. The laser focus that had defined his rise to the top was wavering, replaced by distraction and inconsistency. As fans and analysts speculated about the reasons behind Adesanya's decline, it became clear that the battle he was fighting extended far beyond the confines of the UFC cage. The pressures of maintaining championship status, coupled with personal struggles, had created a perfect storm that threatened to derail his career. After taking time off, Israel Adesanya was once again ready to prove the doubters wrong with his championship fight against Driscus du Plessis. The trash talk between these two were as real as it gets. Many thought that Izzy was going to look like his old self, but after being stopped in the fourth round, it was clear that his former self won't be returning. The fall from glory is a familiar tale in combat sports, but what happens next often defines a fighter's legacy. Can Israel Adesanya rewrite his story, or has the final chapter already been penned? The path forward is shrouded in uncertainty, with whispers of both comeback and retirement echoing through the MMA world. Adesanya's options moving forward are limited but crucial. A rematch with Sean Strickland seems like the most obvious path. If Adesanya can make the necessary adjustments and come back stronger, a victory could put him right back in title contention. However, another loss could be devastating to his career and legacy. Israel, Adesanya's impact on MMA and the UFC middleweight division was nothing short of revolutionary. 
His unique style and charisma brought new eyes to the sport and redefined what it meant to be a champion. But his recent struggles have cast a shadow over his legacy. The once unbeatable striker now looks vulnerable, leaving fans and critics to question his place in MMA history. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to leave a like, subscribe and click the video on the screen to watch more like this.